Hugo, we stand here after another good win, another good performance as well. But uh, the old cliche thing in pre-season is that it's more important to get the minutes in the tank, isn't it? In the tank? Uh, yeah, if you want to put it like that. Um, yeah, look, pre-seasons, uh, as I said to you like this time last year, I think when I spoke to you about pre-season, just about a gradual build-up between well, when we return, which was July the 1st, and obviously the first game of the season at home to Forest Green. So it's a six-week period but it's just a gradual build-up, uh, bit by bit, towards that game and beyond. Um, so obviously we had just under two weeks of just training, and then uh, now we got into the games, and it's been uh, quite impressive in the sense that, not just in terms of what you'd say about tanks and legs and stuff, but also things that we've worked on in training. You know, there's been some really good examples of of the things that we're looking to do and how we want to play this year. So um, it's been a good opening couple of weeks. Has it, is it looking the same as, as last year in terms of what we're doing this pre-season? Um, yes and no. Um, a lot of the principles have stayed the same, but obviously there's some things that, you know, when you get to the end of the season, I um, mean, you, you reflect and look back on things or it, there's certain things that we probably wanted to change a bit because um, you're always looking to improve, improve and adapt. And I think that we've done that this year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, because I just felt that there's there's certain times last season, like you know, you're looking to go that way gradually at times, but something happened at some point where maybe we plateaued a little bit, dipped a little bit, then we pulled it back up again, and and um, so just trying to figure out well what's the best way to make sure that if we can, uh, we don't have you know hit the plateau um, too early as it were. So um, so we're always looking to improve it. I reflect on stuff a lot and I'm always open to improvement and I like being proved wrong. You see a lot of clubs and, and a lot of videos out there of hill sprints, of running the players into the ground early on, bleak tests, all this. Is, is that something we did or, or was it different? No. Um, bleak tests I always find are interesting. I mean, look, I've been at clubs in the past that have done bleak tests, for example, and I know the first time the players do a bleak test, Loads of them drop out early. So when they repeat it towards the end of pre-season, they look a million dollars and everyone goes, what a great pre-season you've had. Um, so listen, everyone's got their different ways of doing it. But, you know, for me, we want to be able to maintain playing our playing style for 90 minutes. So the best way to do that is that you work continuously on your playing style. Some days are much harder than others for the players. But for me, you don't learn how to make top decisions or maintain making top decisions for 90 minutes if you're running up and down the hill or around a pitch so that's how we look at it um, and obviously within the games and stuff as well like the last two games we've, we've said like when we lose the ball everyone's just all in sprinting press so we get make sure we get our work in as well but the biggest thing I can say about our pre-season it's not just about surviving for the players so they're not getting overloaded with fatigue and people aren't just trying to hold on and, and survive it it's about being able to come into every training session as fresh as you can. And when you come to the games like tonight, uh, that, we're, that everyone's fresh to get the best possible account of the, they can of themselves, because that, ultimately they all want to play on the 10th of August. So by giving everyone a chance to impress, let them be fresh. So between now and the next game, which is Saturday, we're off tomorrow. But the emphasis is all about regaining your freshness. And then we're working some stuff on Thursday and Friday that we might want to improve ahead of Saturday. So fatigue's the worst thing for players. If they can't get rid of it, you know, it's slow tempo football, uh, you know, and it, it's just a higher chance of getting hurt and things like that. So all, all I try to do is just to try and apply a bit of logic along with the rest of the staff and the gaffer. Getting attacked by flies. How important are performances in pre-season? It was a good one tonight, but how much do you actually look well, into that? The, some th I'll give you an example. I mean, some of the things that we spoke about after Saturday is that can we improve uh, our pressing? So we did some work on it yesterday and um, at times tonight, in both halves, more, maybe more so in the first half than the second half, we thought the pressing was much, much better. So it's progress. So it's how you measure progress. So we've, we've improved on something in the last few days. Uh, so we'll go away tonight and we'll reflect again, OK, well, what do we need to improve on again? And we'll work on that Thursday, Friday. Uh, and it's just one thing we well, suppose you can measure it by is Again, just being able to maintain the playing style for longer as we go through pre-season or maintain being able to press longer as we go through pre-season. So uh, that's, that's the plan. 
and and looking at the opposition we're playing in pre-season as well obviously this is no dis- disrespect at all to any of the clubs we're, we're currently playing but there is a big jump isn't there when we go from the, the clubs we're playing at the beginning of pre-season to the, the clubs we're going to be playing at the end is, is that something deliberate you've done as that, well oh, absolutely yeah uh, we were all the staff were all agreed on it is that you know we went step five step four tonight we're going step three and then it gets a lot harder yeah. you know where so uh, when you play teams from lower divisions, you know, obviously we expect to have a lot more of the ball, you know, um, and obviously when we get into certainly next week, when we start playing teams from higher than us, they're going to have more of the ball. So that means, you know, we're going to have to work more on our pressing and being able to maintain that. And, but at the same time, you know, I like to think, you know, in possession as well, we'll, we'll, we'll give most teams a game. But ultimately, whilst it's nice to win, of course it is, that's the purpose of the game. We're here to win a game of football. Um, it's not the be-all and end-all, you know. And I, I know I can say that because we've got some really hard games coming up. So um, if we if we lose one or two, then you know we can go well. It's, you know, that's not what pre-season doesn't matter.